Welcome back to My Cup of Shut Up. This is episode number 12. I'm Chris, here with Angie. Hi. Bodie. Big dog, big dog. And Reagan. What's up? <laughs> we are all very sad this week because it is the last show of October. We were, I, I wasn't aware I was supposed to be sad. Well, yeah, me <laughs> either. I'm, I'm sad. pretty happy. Well, Yay, another leave. holiday has come to an end. Well, I'm sad enough for all of us. Good. I'll tell you that right now. Good. Just a couple more days and then Halloween. And then that's it. You should have given me more warning that I was supposed to I be sad. Told and you I that would that. have been sad. I mean, I do what I'm told. Well, <laughs> oh, wait. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Wow, pretty no? good, Reagan. No, 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 not good. Not working out. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't know that the show was supposed to be scripted. I thought it was off the cuff, <laughs> unprofessional. Uh, just. I mean, you said you wanted us to be sad, so I did my little sad thing real quick. No, he yep. didn't say he wanted you to be right. sad. He said you were sad. That's exactly right. Well, I was I'm just sad. sad just now. <laughs> I'll be sad for you. I don't know why when I talk to you, I have to ruin it. <laughs> I do what I'm told. I told you I do what right. I'm told. Right. Yeah, but I'm not married to her. I'm a rebel. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I am. <laughs> and she never does what she's told. That's what I hear. Facts. <laughs> Moving on. So, yeah. So, yeah. Since you wanna, Examples. Since, since you want to talk so badly, why don't you start us off with a topic? Oh, uh, well, you know what? Since we're talking about Halloween being over, let's get this shit done now and talk about our um, Halloween when we were younger. Okay. Uh, I remember, uh, you know, the plastic mask that just covered your face. Uh, with a little string on the back, you know, yep. costumes were pretty much plastic and basic. But uh, we trick-or-treated, I think, a little differently than most families. Um, our mom brought us around in Centerville to only our family members. And then we went to our grandparents' house in Franklin and trick-or-treated just down their street. And then we met up at uh, my grandma's house, and we watched the Halloween cartoons, same cartoons played every year, but that's where we met up. We watched TV, and we ate our candy. Do you remember what cartoons it was? Uh, actually, it was always The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Disney always had um, their little cartoons with the creepy elephants on acid. Yeah, but, but it, was a, it was a, yeah, that was called Disney's Halloween Treat. It was a collection of Disney, different Disney cartoons been shows, but the show itself was called Disney's Halloween Treat. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I no. remember the cartoons. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, you remember the Heffalumps and Woozles? I, yes, that, yes. Was, that was part of it. And then I, I, I really, for some reason, liked when Donald Duck is with his nephews and the escape gorilla. Yes, yes and, that's yeah. funny. That Dewey, one. Louie, and Dewey. Right? Right, good stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, that was our Halloween. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we were weird because our mother only brought us to houses that she knew people no no we weren't weird she was and do, of course you know why she did it right why we the razor weird. blades exactly right she was worried about razor blades and needles and right. candy in fact even though and here's the here's the other thing that's kind of interesting even though we only went to our relative's house she still checked our candy whenever we got on i remember her looking <laughs> at our candy you never sure know. know that's right that's right <laughs> Your grandmother might want to slip your <laughs> Mickey. You don't know. You can't never be too safe these days, you know? I do have to say, though, my favorite, and um, I think I know who did it, but I'm not going to say because I'm not positive. One of our aunts made us candy apples almost every year, and that was my favorite. Better than any candy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ooh, I, the popcorn I, balls I do remember mine. that. I do remember that, yeah. But She's not lying have... because to this day, she still freaks out over candy apples. Chris does not eat apples. Yeah, I don't she eat them. apples, so I just eat the candy part. No. I just eat candy. You do what you gotta candy? do, bro. That's yep. it. Hey, whatever, whatever floats your Twinkie. Yep. He likes to get the um, sheets of caramel. You know how, this, how you buy the sheets? They go over the um, apple. Oh, uh, yeah. Caramel. He uh -huh. gets the sheets and he just eats the sheets of what? caramel. What? Yes. That is so not how it's supposed to be done. You know there's actual caramel dip. He eats yeah. that too. Yeah. Well, you, what would you dip in it? Because he just would put his finger <laughs> uh, and eat the dip. No. He eats cookies in it. Cookies. But you won't eat an apple in it. That is correct. I mean, he doesn't eat vegetables. That is correct. You know yeah. what? Caramels are very chewy and stick to your teeth. I could see eating caramel dip with a spoon. That is a good idea. That's how he eats. Um, what is this oh stuff Oh, my like? God. 
what? The hazelnut stuff. Oh, uh, Nutella. Nutella. <laughs> All night long, baby. With what do you spoon. do with Nutella? With Put, a spoon. With a spoon, babe. What? Yes. And he also makes peanut oh, butter and Nutella sandwiches. So oh, my God. No, you make a, yeah, you put a, you combine peanut butter and Nutella on a sandwich with a glass of milk. Mm. Yeah? Yep. Although that has nothing to do with Halloween. I don't know how this always happens. Why not? It doesn't matter. You always try to rush us back to the <laughs> round I'm, of trying to, I'm trying to make this podcast a well, little more. Well, we talked about caramel with a spoon. I was talking about you eating Nutella with a spoon. I don't know. I do eat Nutella with a spoon. Nutella with a spoon. We like tangents. Tangentially speaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, since, since uh, before we go off on a tangent, I hate having a fucking... Bring us back. To I know you do we're like to bring us back. Well, well, I know. Sometimes I can we want to just roam. I can already tell where it's going. So I want to talk the about. Are you talk about Halloween though? Like, maybe I guess. Apparently, apparently. Because other people might have had experience with okay. Halloween. Okay, right. And I'm just well, let's, saying. Let's hear one. Me and Bodie are let's, also in the room. Let's hear. Let's hear a story from Halloween. I used to almost drown Bob and for apples. True oh, story. That's what they did. Oh my God! I have got to hear this. No, I was just really short, and we went. <laughs> that's the truth. That is the kind of as opposed to now. How tall you know, are? I was really short when I was little. Like I was really short in like third or fourth grade. I can't remember. It was either third or fourth. We went to a party. Like it was a bunch of people together. Bobby and Frapples. I fell into it <laughs> at first. And nobody pulled you out. My dad did. <laughs> I mean, normally there's someone manning the apple. A kid. I like a bucket. teenager was manning the apple bucket. It. Right. What do, what do you call that? The tub. Tub of apples. I mean, yeah. different people do it different ways. She wanted I guess. to swim. Some people want to swim with dolphins. <laughs> she wanted to swim with apples. I don't I think she for wanted Snoopy to. to come out. I mean, come on. <clears throat> she comes out in the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and kisses Lucy. No, but he doesn't. Really, he doesn't kiss Lucy. Oh, yes, he does kiss oh, Lucy. Oh, oh, I'm trying to correct you. Oh, I'm trying to correct you. Oh, I got to. Yeah. All right. Oh, don't take worry. Take the walk of shame. I will, no, I'm not going to take the walk of shame. Shame, shame. Because I will correct you on something else later. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I so, just, I just know Chris is always right. He um, this, this, this. I think you. we're proving that he is not but, every but single I don't know. But, no, that's not, oh, oh, that's not true. That's not true. You have to admit something tonight. Yep, let's no, hear it. Wait a second. Let's hear it. You oh. said you were going to admit it tonight. First of all, I said he's not always right. I didn't say he's never right. Right? Isn't that what I just oh. said? He's not always right. Okay. Well, I think you have to admit something about Odd Thomas. Yes, I watched uh, Thomas, and I did enjoy it. Finally. And therefore, However, uh, Thomas is not a minuscule movie that you have to, you know, go to the dark web and find because no one's ever heard of though. it. It wasn't released in the movie theaters, was it? No. No, it wasn't. Yeah, but I saw it on a regular, like, I think it was on Prime or something. Okay. It, you know, I mean, it was on a regular channel, not... You know. Oh no, that's where he found most of his movies. It was Amazon or. I'm gonna Amazon. tell you, every movie y'all have had, I have looked up and can't find anywhere. Well, Psycho Gorman's on Peacock right now. Yeah. Psycho Gorman. Um, does that have commercials? No. Peacock. Well, if you pay for it, it doesn't. Yeah. Well, I'm not. So I'm not watching movies with commercials. Yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way, yeah. you know? No, that's right. Uh, no, I'm just too good to watch TV with commercials. No, absolutely not. I will not be partaking in the commercialing. No, I, thank you. I, I like pay for my streaming dollars. services to not have commercials, right. so right. therefore I'm going right. to watch but TV I, without yeah, commercials. But see, I also am not just recommending movies so that I think people can watch them on streaming services because, as you know, I am all about physical media. I don't believe that everything should be just on streaming it should be a physical object that you buy and own because they can take it away from you if it's on streaming even if you buy a movie on streaming they can still take that movie away from you and i give you your money back okay well I, I wish i could remember the name of the movie but i cannot one of the movies you recommended yeah i looked it up because i go to imdb so that it just tells me where it is mm -hmm. and literally it was nowhere what movie was that but it was ravenous didn't no. i just say I didn't know where which okay. movie it was. Name something about the movie, and I'll tell you what it was. I couldn't watch it because it was nowhere. Like you couldn't even buy it anywhere. Well, maybe that's why you couldn't find it. <laughs> we don't, don't know about, about the movie. No, I typed <clears throat> the name of the movie into IMDb, yes. which usually tells me where I can find right. it. Is it on Prime Video? Is it on Amazon? Yeah. And sometimes it'll say like it's on Amazon, but only yeah. for rent or to buy. Yeah. It had nothing. 
Uh, so, um, it may have been Ravenous. No, it wasn't Ravenous. Ravenous is on IMDb. I think we were looking for the movie that I was an extra in called The Fire Next Time. Yeah, but you could buy that on Amazon, so no. That is starring Craig T. Nielsen and Bonnie Bedelia and Bodie Bodie Big Dog, Big Dog (laughs) Barrio in that movie. And it was a great movie, so if you can find it, let me know where you find it. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever seen Zombie Town? Because he put that on last night. Oh, yeah, it was pure doo-doo. Fire and where? Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase. Next time. Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase. I've never it's heard a of zombie this movie. movie. I don't know. Some part of me thinks at least Angie would like it. No. Zombie Town? This is not your regular zombie movie. No, it's a zombie movie about a zombie movie. That's partly never comedy. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. It's like comedy. Um, is it is it a recent movie? I don't think so. Well, wow. maybe it is. Dan Aykroyd's kind of old in it. Okay, so. yeah, I don't know. I've never heard of that. I'm going to look it up though. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. Yeah, I I was I was like, well, "What the hell?" And then it wasn't like bad that I was like, no, we got to turn this off. You know what you should do? You should make it one of your 31 Nights of Horror movies. Well, that's not, uh, only if it doesn't suck. I you can't it. watch it first and then say, I'm going to watch it tonight as one of my well, movies. I can't. Just watch. Well, you, first of I all. Think, I think that you should have a one night of the 31 nights that you watch a movie that you've never seen before. Yeah, he doesn't do that. I don't do that. You don't watch movies you've never seen before? No, I don't recommend them to people. If I've never seen it before, I only recommend movies that I've watched and I. Yes, but this doesn't. This is not recommendations. This yes, is what is. movie I'm watching tonight. Right. That's yeah. what it is. Yep. That he recommends because he's so rewatching it. It doesn't have to be a recommendation. It has to be this is the movie I'm watching tonight. Hey, you do your own Thirty One Nights. I will do my own damn Thirty One Nights. Don't tell you know. me what to do. You're not my real there's daddy. Only like, there's only like. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my real daddy. There's you only, can't tell me what to do. There's only like three nights left of the month, so I don't have time to be. Uh, I've already got everything scheduled out. It's, oh, it's okay. Out. I don't change. He does. He has Everything's all yeah. scheduled out. I got it written yeah. in the notebook. That's right, it's, I you know, it's, yeah. I got all the DVDs lined up in order. And okay. Blu-ray. Yeah, yeah. There's no way in hell I will watch a movie that I've never seen for my 31 Nights of Horror. That's just that's a terrible process. That's not how it works. That's a terrible no, process. I will watch it, and then if it's good, it will be on the next 31 Nights of Horror next year. How about that? No, I don't like it. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. you need to have new experience in your life, don't you think? I will have it. He did. Just not we for watched Jojo minutes. Rabbit this weekend. Joe Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit. Who the hell is Joe Rabbit? Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. A fr- my I watch Roger Rabbit. He's a better rabbit. Yeah. That movie's not all the cracked up to be. No, it's really not. But the chick, what's the chick's name? Jessica Rabbit. She's Ooh. a fucking cartoon. Well, she's a hot cartoon. Well, first of all, it's saying. called Hinta. There's a lot of people that are into cartoons. Oh my god, I know you're <laughs> yeah, not doing no, Hinta. Hentai. Yeah, he's yeah. talking about Hentai. <laughs> Our tech guy could fill us in on some good Hentai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's saying you're number one. I am number one. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, apparently there's a lot of people into anime, and apparently there's levels of anime. Anime. Excuse me, because uh, we were talking about it the other day with some people, and they don't like this certain anime series on Netflix because it wasn't good anime. Okay? Yeah, well, you know anime like is it's... not hentai, right? You well, know that they're not I don't know what the fuck hentai is, oh. and I probably don't want to. <laughs> well, you can show it tonight, bud. No, I'm not here. That's not my thing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going, these are grown people, and I'm like, that, that's cartoons. Like that's not real. It's anime naughty stuff. Hey, do do you remember? Uh, speaking of uh, speaking of pornography, you remember oh whenever uh, we were all y'all want to go off on tangents? So well, we real. like to tangentially so, speak. So uh, we're all at the house way back in the day, and uh, we're watching CSI. I think it's the original CSI before they started breaking off and having like CSI New Orleans CSI. St. Martinville, whatever. St. <laughs> <Saint Saint Martinville, laughs> Martinville. So, so we're sitting there watching it, and in this particular episode is about a guy, uh, I think it was a, in college, and uh, he takes his girlfriend out to have sex in a park. While they're having sex, the girlfriend looks over and sees a dead body in the bushes. And then uh, the episode reveals that this guy has watched so much porn that he can no longer be aroused by someone unless it's a porn star. So he murdered a porn star, put her body in the bushes so that he could have sex with his girlfriend. It's the only way he could get aroused. And I remember, what? yeah. You know what I mean? Because I remember you and I discussing, uh, 
how much porn a person would have to watch. <laughs> yeah, that, it would have to be they, next they, level. They, they like called for it, real. They called it porn creep in the episode, and Mud we were like, we were like, maybe we should cut back, you know, before we get to that point. But you know me, I like to live on the edge, so I didn't cut back. And I can oh, tell you God. right now, I don't know how much porn that guy watched, but it must have been a lot. Had to be porn. a hell I still of a lot. Have not reached the porn creep stage. No. Yeah. So. That reminds me of that movie. What's the name of that? Don movie? John. Yeah, Don John. I have you seen it. that movie? Yes, I watched it. it he was very similar yes. to that, right? right. It, I, I, I thought. Of, no, I, I didn't think it was a shit movie because I. It was. It wasn't like oh, I want to watch it again, but I did think it was kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I did not think it was a shit movie, and you all be you know why. So, moving on. We don't have to discuss that any further. Yeah, you know, it had the number one most yeah. important quality. Right, right? No, I feel you, but if the movie was due You know he wrote that movie, right? <laughs> Who wrote that movie? Marky Mark. Marky, you wrote that movie? No. I did, I did. I wrote that movie. What's his freaking name? I'm proud of myself. I did not even go on strike. No, not, not Marky Mark. Yeah, he's talking about, uh, oh my God. Mark Wahlberg. I am so terrible. It's not no, Mark it's not Wahlberg. Mark. I am terrible at coming up with names on the fly. Everybody knows this. It's uh, not Mark Wahlberg? No. Oh, Joseph, J- Joseph Gordon, Gordon Levitt. Levitt. Joseph Gordon Levitt. He, he wrote Levitt. it, and he actually wrote the part for Scarlett Johansson, who was the other lead. Right. Like, he wrote it with her in yeah, mind. because he wanted to jump up with Donald Scarlett Johansson. That's a genius move. Right? Uh, I mean. <laughs> like, Scarlett, I wrote this part for you. I, I can't you. make the movie without you. Right. That's right. Yep, that's so funny. he was seeking what other people get that's, with cocaine. That's one, that's, one of the, <laughs> that's one of the perks of being in the movie business. You can right. write a part where you jump up and down on some hot chick. We just got finished talking about what you get for cocaine, right? Yeah, well, I was You not get the same thing probably right. for a movie part, I would think. Yeah, we talked about that not on the podcast. I know, now I know. Now are going, what? Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> that's an inside joke. If you want to know, send me a message. I'll tell you. <laughs> So I was trying to, uh, about 20 minutes ago, I was trying to talk about... Uh, razor blades. Razor blades and candy. Yeah. We had a perfect segue to razor blades and candy, and then y'all wanted to just go off on a tangent. So now 20 minutes later, we still have to talk about it. No, y'all wanted to prove that I would say you were right about something. Yes, I did. No, no, I, I didn't did want have you, to I wanted that. you to say that you liked that. something. I didn't want you to prove him right, because I never liked him Yeah, but them right. two wanted me to say that he was right about something. No, I actually enjoy hearing that you like something as well, because that doesn't happen ever either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start bringing something to slap you with. I like that plan. That's a good plan. All right, so, in conclusion, <laughs> I, Thomas, is awesome. Yes. I recommended it. Yes. And I was right. And you were right. Okay. One yeah. movie out of 463,000 <laughs> was an accurate recommendation. Did I it, think you're a winner. Did you like the ending? The I ending, did. The ending wrecked me. Like, I was... Yeah, very, very tense. It had a great... The, the movie did a great job of building up the tension to the, the race against the clock. Yeah, we can't, we can't spoil it. No, no, we're not I wasn't going to spoil it. I was just saying, asking the, her, the her opinion on the racing against the clock to stop the event. You know, the buildup of the right. tension was done very well, I thought. Uh, also, just as a side note, after this podcast, I need to tell you something about the end that correlates <laughs> to something else. Well, I don't want to spoil oh it for people. God, you, know, you, know how, you know how people tune in the podcast and not know what right. you're you not hear about That's things? That's so great. Yep. Uh, so you if welcome. you're listening... Yeah. If you're listening, we're keeping secrets well, from your ass. Yeah, Just so we you don't know. want you to hear all this. <laughs> no, no, I think I could say this. Because you, you gave a lot of details about the plot without giving anything yeah, away. Yeah, don't give anything away. So, no. So, in the movie, like he says, the dead don't speak. Right? <sighs> that was a plot twist. That was not a plot yes, twist. Yes, it was. He says it right at the beginning. Yeah, I know. It was a plot twist at Fuck the you, it was not. <laughs> yeah, stop talking about the movie. Yeah, go ahead and tell me after. Seriously. No, tell me after. This, that was a plot that twist. That is all that I was going to say about the movie. What, what I was going right. to say is you and your whole Houdini theory yeah. about him trying to get in contact with his wife and having this word would explain why he never said the word because maybe, in fact, the dead do not speak. Whew. That's a stretch. That's a stretch. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. I thought that was a perfect explanation to why Houdini never got in contact with his wife. Maybe he was trying, but he couldn't speak to her and therefore could not say the word. Maybe. Maybe. So I heard that the razor blades in candy was not actually Maybe. a real thing. That, is that it was fake. That's completely what I've been, fraudulent. That's what I've been trying to say. Mythological. Never really existed, and right. people freaked out over it. That's what I've been trying to say for 20 minutes. Yes. So, the so whole, tell me uh, about that. Yeah, the whole... And my mom, I remember my, our mom, excuse me, 
I'm not the only one who had a mom. Our mom. <laughs> we all had we moms. All had moms. <laughs> Our mom. Hopefully we did. Looking at the candy going, yep, no, no needles or razor blades in here. So I, I don't know exactly how she was able to tell that. But whatever. <laughs> so, uh, th- so I actually, because I looked it up, because I actually was curious about that. Did that ever really happen? No, it never happens. Correct. It never happened, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is, so I found three things that did happen. That could have contributed to. It's an urban ev- legend. You know, yeah, create yeah. They call legend. that an urban legend. I mean, there are some things that happen, but not to that extent. So, in 1959, which I think is the earliest recorded case of somebody screwing with children's candy on Halloween. There was 19 a, what nine? 1959. There was a dentist who put some laxatives in candy, which I mean, that's not that. That's not that big a deal. That made you but, go poop. Yeah. Right. So. I guess he was trying to teach kids a lesson that they shouldn't eat candy. I don't know. Or so he maybe he wanted them to know that everybody poops. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a book. Yeah. It's Apparently, true. he didn't have the foresight to put it in a book. He tried right. laxatives, right. and that was right. not. Well, he was before his life time. Life experience is the best way to learn. So, <laughs> that is true. Candy makes you poop. So the one that actually probably started the whole it's dangerous to get trick-or-treat candy occurred in 1974. I'm pretty sure this is the reason why everybody is afraid to get, let their children get candy from people. So, uh, there was an optrician in Texas. Optrician? What yeah, the optrician. Fuck is that? I don't know. Actually, I was hoping somebody else would know. <laughs> you I mean, mean an wanna... obstetrician? No, it's no O P T R I C I A N. Optrician. That's what it said. That's what it said. Like an eyeball. So I'm just telling you what it said. That's an optometrist. Well, that's what I thought too. I don't know what the fuck. So there was a guy in Texas. Yeah, there was a doctor. He handed out pixie sticks to several children, okay, while, you know, during the course of trick-or-treating. So his son eats a pixie stick and dies from cyanide poisoning. The, the pixie sticks are laced with cyanide. So uh, immediately the cops show up, start questioning the dad. They figure out right away that um, the dad just wanted to murder his son. The dad laced the pixie sticks and gave it, he laced the pigs in and gave it to his son and murdered his son. So they immediately were able to go out to the other kids that he gave it to and got the pigs before they ate them. So he didn't actually kill anyone else but his son. But then, of course, they, uh, so he must have been a real moron. I guess he thought if he, a bunch of other kids died of sign of poison, they just assumed that they got it from a random house somewhere and he would then throw it off his trail. But right. no, they figured out immediately it was him. He murdered his son and they eventually convicted his ass few years later oh so i think that it might be the incident that made everybody afraid of candy i don't know but well you know my wife who is an expert on murder because she watches how to get away with murder shows 24 7 and she knows exactly what causes people to get caught for committing murder so when i die make sure you look at her very closely but she says that it's a very popular method of doing homicide to do it to four or five ten different people right just to get the one that you wanted to target right. so that the one targeted one doesn't come right back to you right yeah it, okay if yeah. i were going to kill somebody i would only kill one somebody i would not kill several somebodies Pretty but a lot of people do do that <laughs> well sure i mean i can see the logic behind it because then the cops are like man no, there's no motive right. these people are related how do we figure out who did this right yeah i can see why yeah. you would think that would be a good way but obviously it doesn't work because they always get caught. that's correct they, they, they get usually caught. get found they out get caught. that's right they they always look into the victims individually to see um but you know they hospitals still actually offer to check the candy at halloween Right. They do say, yeah, yeah. if you want to yeah, bring it in, we'll x-ray, x-ray it. and do all that kind of business, yeah. They will. Yeah. It's ridiculous, though, because they're doing it for no reason. <laughs> and anyway, even if somebody did want to put razor blades in candy, they would immediately get found out because everybody would know what house they went to. Everybody would know what house they went to for trick-or-treating, and they would just narrow it down, and there would be some evidence that would connect them. And they'd be well, sure. people don't just go to one house. Well, I know that, but I mean, they would figure it out. Pretty yeah, well. you could narrow it down yeah, to you about down you know, 20 quickly. or 30 houses, yeah. right? We're just still narrowing the field. Yeah, they would figure it out. They would figure it out, so it wouldn't work. So there was some other cases. There was one where a guy uh, put some didn't actually put needles in 
uh, some chocolate bars, and he gave it to like four teenagers, and one of them bit into it. And I don't even think the needle, I think the needle just sort of like scratched the inside of his mouth. He didn't even need medical care of any kind, but they immediately caught that guy. He was a nut. Well, so, yeah, we're know, talking about I mean, nuts in general. But I mean, I he only, yeah. So, I mean, he didn't even do it to a whole bunch of people. It was only four people, so. It's, yeah. yeah. So, it's all fake. So, it's all fake. So, in case you didn't know, the razor blade, needles, nails, cyanide, all in your kids' candy. It's all fake. Right. Except for just one or two isolated incidents way back in the decades ago. Yep. So it's never really been a thing. Nothing to worry about. Yep. Nothing to worry about. Yep. Unless, you know, I mean, I guess the only... The only rational reason to do it is if a parent wanted to take their kid's candy. Say, oh, no, no, this oh, yeah. has been tampered with. That's exactly yeah. what I would do when I was checking my children's candy. This is a Reese's peanut butter cup, and it probably has a razor blade in it. I'm going to keep <laughs> yeah. that one over I, here. I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for you, son. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to keep the ones that are tainted over here, and you can have the rest. <laughs> They'll all be safe. Well, I was thinking, you know, giving out candy, everybody does that. Maybe one year we should do, like, give out fake roaches. So when they say trick or treat, we say trick and give them a fake roach. Oh, yeah. That's a good way to keep your house from getting eggs. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just think we yeah. should do tricks We would never have year. a flaming bag of doo-doo on our <laughs> <No>. porch. We always <laughs> say treats, just like Chris Scarum. None of your, none none of your cars will have flat tires in this day. <laughs> Yeah, that's a yeah. great idea. In fact, I think you should do it in a couple of days. What if we do it at somebody else's house? Yeah, that would be a good prank. <laughs> you know what you do, though? Here's Some the way you do Some people leave their houses because they're like, um, you know, it's it's a law <laughs> around here. I don't know about other places. But if you are a registered sex offender, you you ha they normally meet somewhere during Halloween hours so that they're not home for trick-or-treaters to go there. All we have to do is find a registered sex offender's house. What the what? hell? What are we doing? Put what up, are we doing? Put up a table at their house. Man, the two of you and come no up with some jokes are really going strange. What kind of road did we just travel down? Y'all keep talking about this. Yeah, last week y'all was talking about me molesting people. That y'all yeah, are not. You, I'm not trying to molest anybody. Child molestation is. I'm should, not trying to molest anybody. I'm trying to not get my house eggs, but to trick people. How about this? Turn off all the lights. <laughs> No, she wants to go to a sex yeah, offender party and offender hand house. out candy there. Yeah. No, I want to go to the house where they won't be so that people don't know it's not my house. Yeah, but they send out mailers to everyone in the neighborhood yeah. that tells them this is where the sex offender lives. Right. So you're going to be sitting in the driveway and they're going to go, look, it's the sex offender. You know how many people trick or treat in our neighborhood that don't live here? It's not a all good of idea. Them. It's not a good idea right now. We're, trying to, we're helping you. We're Fine, trying to help whatever. Y'all ruin all the fun. This we're, is why no. I hate holidays. No, no, no. Because you can't go to sex offenders? <laughs> sometimes you got to go hang out with sex offenders. I guess offenders. sometimes you do. Because y'all you know? don't let me have fun. That's why. <laughs> and that would be fun for you. <laughs> hanging out with all the sex offenders. I just wanted to hand out fake roaches. You could do that. Yeah, you can. No, y'all telling me no because I'm gonna get egged. And... Right, but if you listen and you close your mouth for half a second, you'll understand that I have an idea that will solve that problem for you. It's called trick or treat, but in our house we could call it trick and treat. So you hand out uh -huh. a fake roach and they go ah, and then you say here's your tootsie pop. <laughs> right. Trick or, and would, treat. So would, after they get tricked, then work. they get treated, and they're work. not angry at you. They don't pop your tires. I don't like that. It's trick or treat. You don't get both. <laughs> well, uh, maybe they can dig in a bucket and pick out a piece of paper, and if they pick trick, they get tricked. If they pick treat, they get treat. <laughs> Frankie just wants to be mean to kids. What like day? You know what? I'm I'm actually curious now, because it is called trick or treat. Why? Where did this tr tradition begin? Well, I don't. And know. why is it called trick or treat? Do you act, did it when it began? Did it actually begin as you would either get a trick or a treat? I don't know. Well, you're the Halloween motherfucker. Well, How I, do you not know the history of Halloween? Well, I can't answer that. Oh my god! I can't answer that. I need I, you to answer that. I never questioned why it was called trick or treat. I never questioned that. I just accepted it as part of the... I mean, back in the medieval times, did they knock on the door and say trick or treat and the person would just cut their head off and say trick? Right. <laughs> That's actually very plausible. Right? That's I choose trick. Quite plausible. Yeah. Or the next person could give them a flagon of mead and say treat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know either. 
So to conclude the razor blades, uh, <laughs> oh, we <laughs> haven't concluded that no, yet because I thought we it was went concluded off on a 20 minutes tangent. ago. <laughs> we got off on a goddamn tangent. So I was just going to say that uh, in a couple of days for 31 Nights of Horror, I am going to show Halloween 2. And if you, when you watch Halloween 2, there's a funny scene where uh, a kid is being brought into the hospital because the movie takes place in the hospital. There's a kid being brought in the hospital. He's got a razor blade stuck in the roof of his mouth where he like, did it some can in the roof. That's and, cute. And, yeah, they just show it. In the, it's funny. Just funny little thing. It is funny. So That might also be a reason why uh, maybe people saw the documentary Halloween 2 and they thought, well, who's unprofessional phone? <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> Oh. I can't imagine whose phone that was. I don't know who it would well, be. Oh, well, you got to do this. Maybe no. someone that likes <laughs> 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 So um, it was actually, Angie, ladies and gentlemen, who well, wanted to be unprofessional this episode. Well, actually, I wasn't being unprofessional. I was going to go fuck yourself. I was looking up the true meaning behind Halloween. And so it fuck starts y'all. with cha-ching. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and apparently the true meaning of Halloween is cha-ching. <laughs> well, it is for Hershey's. I tell you that. Right. Well, it started when people were begging for food. So they'd go to a house and offer to sing for them yep. in hopes that they would get food. Yep. Okay, so what is the... Uh... But it, the actual, like, Halloween fun trick-or-treat started in Canada in the 1920s and then spread to the U.S. But wow. it, didn't give, it didn't give a lot of details. Okay. Yeah, it's during some Celtic... Um, oh, Celtic. sorry. Celtic. All right, look, I told you I was going to correct you. I told you I was going to correct you, and that was it. Yes, the Boston Celtics. Would you Celtics. like to read it? No, I don't. You read it. No, I just had to correct you. Go ahead. During some Celtic celebrations of Samhain, villagers would disguise themselves in costumes made of animal skins to drive away phantom visitors. Banquet tables were prepared with food and was left out to placate unwelcome guests. So that's how it started. And then kids, they started just doing it. Like what Reagan said. I don't know that that answered the question. I don't think it did. I mean, it all still sounds like treat to me. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't we just treat. call it they Halloween treat. treating? Right. No, they were tricking the spirits. Oh, tricking the spirits. They were tricking the spirits. How? Yeah. By because putting out the food and everything. I, I so thought, oh, yeah. I thought. Placating I unwelcome well, that's guests. Well, why, that's why everybody dresses up in costumes so to that cover the them dead up. can't tell who's a mortal, living mortal, and who's a ghoul or not. That's why you dress up. Yeah. Right, because you know when my kid dresses up as Iron Man or a werewolf. Well, that's where it grew. he's fooling that's the where, spirits. That's, <laughs> where cap- that's where capitalism came in and ruined it. Right, greedy capitalism. Yeah, yeah, and also uh, pussy children who are afraid to be scared, and so they can't dress up as something scary. I'm pussy fairly children. certain that that's the first time we've heard that word on the podcast. Well, it won't be the last thing we've done. <laughs> it won't be the last. So I have a question. If Do Die you. Hard is a Christmas movie, which it is, it is. Is E.T. a question. Halloween movie? Oh, it is could e. be. Is E.T. a Halloween movie? It could be. I think E.T. is just. A Although movie. it's just a tiny part, it, the entire uh, Die Hard takes place at the entire time yes. of Christmas. Christmas season. E.T. only takes place. There's only one night of it that's Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's season. during Halloween season. I guess. Just I mean, saying. it is in the movie. Halloween I'll take is it. In the movie. Sure. I'll take it. Sure. Why not? I'll accept it. I'll give it. I'll give it to you. All on, right. On a technicality. Well, technicality. You know. Speaking of technicality, <laughs> can we talk about how people use the word literally incorrect? Incorrectly. The other day, the young people <laughs> literally incorrectly. Yeah. Incorrect. Incorrectly. <laughs> they use the word literally incorrectly. Yes, oh, and they grammatically episode four. tried to police me. Well, you know, some people need policing. <laughs> anyway, the word literally. Yes. It means literal. <laughs> yes, does it does. Does it not? It does. Because young people will say, oh my God, I have to drive a million miles, like literally a million miles to get to the next door neighbor's house. Um, no, it's not literally a million dollars, miles. It's really not. <laughs> I don't know if you know what the word literally means. They might not. But they do that. Oh, I literally died. Um, no, you literally didn't. <laughs> I believe we have said several times on this podcast that the young people of today are literally idiots. They are. Yes, they are. That Tell is, me that is if you believe. They are fucktards. They are. That's a new word as well, maybe. We can use that more often. Oh, too. that's a good way to, yes. To get around the the R word that we're not supposed Fox to. Fuck R, that's our <laughs> yeah. new our I new word. We use that in wow a lot. <laughs> I like it. 
I like it as well. Oh, can yes. I call him that three? Yes, Regularly do it, please. Sweet. Thanks. Literally, you can <laughs> <laughs> That's literally not funny. <laughs> um, but people literally laughed. <laughs> Anyway, I just think that that's such a no. I agree. That's such an incorrect use of that word. I agree. With it's you. so incorrect. Yeah. Know what the word means if you're going to use it. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. Know the definition. Right. Like you, you said something earlier that I wanted a definition of, but then you gave me the definition oh. of it right behind it. Did I? I don't believe I did. You did. You oh. said physical media, and I was like, oh, okay, right. I need a definition of physical media, and then yeah. right behind that, you yeah. said, this is what physical yeah. media is. Yeah. Bam. Blue, blue I was like, yes. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah, but you know. It, Often, slang is a word that exists, but they change the meaning. Yeah. You know, because like when you say, man, that is bad, and you meant it was good. Right. So I guess they have literally so changed they, the meaning. So literally. wait, but are they meaning literally to mean illiterally? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Illiterally. yeah, that's a good word. But, but that's what they have done. They have literally changed the meaning of literally to something else. To not literally. To <laughs> right. really falsely. Yes. Right? All right. Bust I don't, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, You did not just say Those busting. videos, they drive me nuts, bro. <laughs> Why are you opping, bro? You're doing too much. Come on, bro. Oh, man. It's so much. It's funny. I laugh every time I see those things. Because I, it's I so remember real. you sent me a video. And there was no context. You sent me a video of a guy talking like that. And I, I turned to Andy and I was like, is this guy retarded? Why is, he, is that what I'm supposed right. to do? Was he a fucktard? Was he fucktarded? <laughs> is this guy mentally debuffed? Right. Yeah, I, mentally debuffed, 100%. And she was like, she, want, she wants you to see the slang he's used. I'm like, oh, okay. I just thought the guy didn't know how to fucking talk. Yes, yes. And I posted another one of those videos that I saw. It's the new one that was just made. So great. So funny. Because it's accurate. No, It's it is, absolutely it accurate. That's it why is. it's funny. You know, a lot of things that are funny are only funny because they're the true. The truth. That's right? right. The truth is the funny. And that's the reality yep. of a lot of humor, <laughs> right. is that it's only funny because it's true. That's right. That's like right. somebody tells you, oh, I was in the bathroom the other day, and I had to take a big poop, and I broke through the toilet paper, and oops. <laughs> but you see, the only reason that's funny is because that has happened to people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> people have ended up with a brown finger because the toilet paper was too weak. Sweet. And that's why it's funny. <laughs> oh my god <sighs> catch my breath yeah so there's two topics well actually there's a topic that we have been writing on our topic board and just oh. to determine if we we're going to talk about it so there's yes. been like five episodes we never talked about i think we should get i think we should get that i'm going to go way. ahead and uh become the boss of the episode and say that we are going to talk <laughs> you're about not it. my real daddy <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. Take it away, somebody else. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Any damn body else. Speak. <laughs> so, um, Bodie and I have a hearing impaired son. So, we have often had closed captioning on our TV because he has a hard time um, just hearing the TV. So, he reads the words. So, we just thought, you know, that was normal for us because we had a hearing impaired son. And a lot of times, if he would uh, leave the room, somebody would change the channel, but the closed captioning would stay on. We just figured, oh, well, they just didn't turn it off. So, you know, we, did, we thought nothing of it other than we had a hearing impaired son. That's mm -hmm. why I was on. However, I have since learned that today's youth uh, like the closed captioning and um, people are not exactly sure why but they think it's related to the fact that they look at their phones so much and they're texting so much that they need to see the type on the TV right hearing or not hearing correct well no matter how good the hearing is on no matter if the TV volume is up or down they need to read words yeah it is bizarre it's bizarre and what's what I find uh, most annoying about it is that there have been many, many times where I've been like, hey, you should watch this movie. And they say, what? And I'll tell them, you know, it's a foreign film, it's a French movie or whatever, but it's amazing. And they'd be like, subtitles? Yes, there's subtitles. Well, I'm not fucking watching a movie where right. I gotta read. If I wanna read, I'll read a book. I won't right. watch a movie. And so they wouldn't watch it. And now, fucking people are watching movies with subtitles that are in the same language that they speak. And that's really pissing me off. Yes. 
Well, I mean, and I they have to have them subtitles. The closed captions right, have yeah. to be there. They literally have to. have The only them way they can associate themselves with words is when they see them in print. I guess, yeah. For, and it and it all comes back to the cell phones and the smartphones yep. and all of the texting and all of this that that has to be done. That now is transferred into the visual media. You know, right? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. You went to your friend's house that we that you spent the night at. I didn't have a sleepover at my friend's house. Yeah. Why do you keep yeah. saying it? We sleep at our and, friend's and house. Austin, 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 Austin. 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 Ashton and Austin. We went to spend the night at Ashton and Austin's <laughs> house, and they wanted to know if you wanted to close captions on or off. Yep. Yeah. That is true. For Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's perfectly, nobody in the room is hearing impaired. No. Nope. Not right. a single person. No. Nope. And the movie is in English. Yes. And they wanted to know if you wanted to close captions on or off. Yep. That's just the way that things are going. I guess nowadays. so. Yeah, you know, I guess just that's the path that people have yeah. taken. I guess that just means that I'm really old. I don't know because I don't get these younger generations. There are two times Bodie and I use closed captioning. One when our hearing impaired son is in the room and watching TV with us, and two when we cannot understand what the fucking person right. on TV is saying, so we rewind it and put closed captioning on in hopes that they will interpret right. it correctly. Yeah. Right. The one time I did actually have to put on closed captions for a movie that was in English was uh, that crap-ass movie that the everybody witch. loved, The Witch, which I don't remember what year that came out. But uh, everybody was just raving about this goddamn movie, The Witch. So I was like, great. I watch it, and they're uh, speaking, you know, in old English. They'll say, like, from hither to thither, you know, like that. And then, But then there was like, yeah, exactly yeah, like that. Most exactly definitely. Like that. From hither to thither. <laughs> so, but they're saying in such a strong accent right. that it's already words that you're not used to hearing together in a sentence, and then with an accent that you're like, what? Right. So, like, I had to put on closed captions to know what the hell was going on in the movie. So it's basically watching a foreign. Film. So it was basically watching a foreign. So, film. Yeah. yeah, that was that was the only time. But I that's had to... not. Yeah, I understand that. I would probably do the same. Right. It was in 2015. She's telling me. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of hither to thither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because there's a topic, hither to thither. I can't stand people who are like, I love Shakespeare. Because... You can't stand people who love Shakespeare? Can I fucking finish? That's what she said. I know. I just wanted to read... I just wanted to make sure that literally... <laughs> you might mean, because literally, don't like it. You literally just said you can't stand people that hate Shakespeare. Or that like Shakespeare. I guess Shakespeare. We, can, we can kiss that Shakespeare and listen to shit and get by. <laughs> because... Like, I've had to read stories in high school with, you know, excerpts or whatever yep. from Shakespeare. And I never can understand one single sentence with all those words they use. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I don't understand how people can, you know, do those plays and everything and act like they're just reading a normal novel because it's not normal. No, it's not normal. So I just don't understand those people. So there's only two possible reasons. One, you're not cultured. And you don't get it. Or two, they're lying. Yep. I'm going to pick option. Well, I wouldn't say I'm exactly not cultured. I mean, I would like to think I have a little bit of culture, but definitely number two. Yep. Yes. It's yeah. like Citizen Kane. Nobody likes <clears throat> Citizen Kane. They all say they do, but they're lying. Same thing. She is number two. <laughs> <laughs> the shit. There you go, right? You're the shit. I am the shit. You are number two. <laughs> I'm Yorlick. You know who Yorlick is? She, she, was, she just told you she don't like Shakespeare. <laughs> no, she told us she don't like people that like Shakespeare. Oh, yeah, that's right. She doesn't like Shakespeare. Right. right. She said she doesn't like the people who like Shakespeare. She doesn't like Shakespeare. Maybe that. that's why she doesn't like herself. Maybe. She, she likes Shakespeare. Although Shakespeare was way before his time because, you know, he had a lot of men who dressed up as women in his plays. Well, in the beginning of theater that's all they that's had all they had because women, women were not allowed to do shit. women weren't correct. allowed to do that's shit right back in the day. <laughs> that's, that's right, right. <laughs> women were not allowed to do shit that's back right. in the day correct and men dressed they up as like, Bitch, women get in the kitchen <laughs> make and you cook me some pancakes and then type up this manuscript <laughs> that's right that's what they did go make me a sandwich is how medieval times used to used to yeah. roll some people would argue those were better times. <laughs> not me. Not, not me. No, not me. I'm not, not saying me. me. I'm, I'm just not saying other about people. That either. Uh, that some really, people would really say great. that. I'm if totally old-fashioned. I like staying home, raising my kids, and not having a job. I totally am no feminist whatsoever. I, I don't like... Yeah, but you probably wouldn't respond well to go make me a sandwich. 
<laughs> I don't know. What you tell it's me? Better than, no, no, it's better than not. hearing my boss telling me to do shit. I mean, right. I like staying at home and having to do stuff like that. So right. Right. I, I can't really argue with that. All right. Well, that's good. That's a different kind of opinion, isn't it? Yeah. Have you seen the new commercial? It's a makeup commercial. Uh, I don't and know. it's a freaking dude. No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, I mean, he looks like a woman. He looks like a woman, but he's not a woman. Right. Dude looks like a lady. (laughs) Right. (laughs) That was ahead of its time. That was was ahead of its time. Yep. Aerosmith. Man, they were, they were Nostradamus like. Yep. Dude looks like a lady. And what what was when all those big hair bands were in, and they they all kind of wore makeup and. Yeah. Fix their hair like girls had hair better than girls. Yeah, yeah. Too. But for some reason, girls still wanted to be with them. You know why? Because they're they were stupid. Rock stars? No. Also, no. You want to know the real reason why? The reason? Yes, I do want <laughs> yes. to know the reason. He has it's a problem funny. with ours. I do have that problem. <laughs> you haven't heard that story. I'll tell you that story in a second. He messages. was there. <laughs> you were not there. For he what? There? I don't know. Our wedding. That. You were not at my wedding. Uh, I gave away the bride, if you Did recall. You? Yes. You bastard. You really don't remember that? I'm going to get you back You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I was there. I gave her away. Yes. Shame on you. He was yeah. like, take her. Yeah, because I didn't want anyone else to give what me away. What are the chances you would take her back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know if you look it's on the receipt. It's a but, joke. Uh, I love uh, you forever. All cells are final. It's a joke. I don't know. Did we really get married if he mispronounced the word? <laughs> what they're talking word? about for the listeners, the thousands of listeners yeah. that we have. Yeah. When I got married, I had to repeat after the guy. <laughs> you know how they say repeat after me, and you have to say, you know, all the things that they say. Well, he said, with this ring, I thee wed. Right? And when I repeated that, I said... With this wing, I be wed. <laughs> like so everybody in the wedding party laughed and chuckled, and then we were handing out chicken wings at the reception, saying that, oh, with this wing, I be wed you. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it was so great. Marriage. But the reason why the yeah. hair band still got the chicks is not because they were rock stars, it's not because they looked like girls, it's because they had the cocaine. Oh. That's why. And the booze. That's exactly why. Yeah, and, the money. and, the money. and they look like John and Bon Jovi. Right? John Bon Jovi is not good looking. Are you? Okay. Are you, not, you're a fucktard. He's, he's not. He's, he's not absolutely not. He's not good looking. I know what a handsome man looks like. No homo. Right. No. <laughs> okay, let me just say no. that people have different tastes in other people. I can, I mean, as a man, I can look at another man and go, this man gets a lot of poon. I can tell that. <laughs> right? I can tell right. that man. I can do the same. Yeah. I can look at another man and say, that is an attractive man. Right. No homo. Right. Yes, but I can <laughs> right. say, okay, so a lot of people think Fabio is attractive. No. Fabio is not. ugly, and I don't think any guys with long hair is attractive. Oh, you would be wrong. Uh, no, no, I think no, that's that my your opinion. opinion. That is your opinion. So you I can't think say I'm wrong. You also don't like fireworks. That is correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. So your opinion bit... is a little well, skewed. Well, if you yeah. can shoot fireworks inside, I might like them. Well, we already know you can shoot them out of your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not out of my ass. That is literally true. Not it's out of my ass. Thing. Actually, that's not true. He didn't shoot them out, shoot of, him out of his ass. He didn't shoot them out of his ass. He stayed in his that ass. That is the problem. Yeah, that, yeah. So, actually, you cannot shoot fireworks out of his ass. <laughs> Maybe he should have put the, uh, like, tube to put the firework in in his ass. Ooh, and then oh, that way. That would have hurt. He would have had to have some experience worked, yeah. first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't that way the fire, the, tube. the fire uh, it would have worked. Would have worked that it actually would have worked. worked. Yeah. See, they didn't put enough thought into it. That it would have worked. If Not you're trying thought. this at home, don't go straight to the tube. Yeah. Try some smaller things first and then work your way up to the tube. Right? I think someone we might could get to try it. Just saying. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Who, Aaron? Uh, well, yes. if, if he tries it, he has to film it because we got to put it on the Facebook we page. We do. We have to post it. It okay. has to be posted. <laughs> we'll talk to him Wednesday. We'll have a conversation. Although Chris thinks my, the guy I think is really attractive. He said he was a good looking guy. Uh, who's that? <laughs> you. Henry Cavill. You, Chris. Oh. You're so attractive. Yeah. Mm. Well, he already knows that. <laughs> but Henry Cavill, I think is. Sure. I mean, I understand that Henry Cavill's hips are probably sore. Right, right. <laughs> I know. Right. No, I look at him and I say, "Yep, this guy." 
has got abs of steel. Yeah, I got right. it. And she said nobody with long hair, though. And I'm thinking to myself, the Aquaman guy is Jason pretty attractive, Momoa. is he not? Yeah. He is delightful. The Aquaman I do dude, not don't like... I don't like him because of the long hair. Wow. I don't like guys wow. with long hair. That, that hair right. is unattractive to well, me. That's why she doesn't like Shakespeare. That is why. Because yep. they wear wigs. I don't like Shakespeare because I can't understand a fucking thing he writes. You don't understand to be or not to be? Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or what? to die. Wow. Yeah. Huh? What? Wow. Don't know those. That's right. No, I don't. Wow. I mean, it's good. That was impressive. You're turning me off right cool, now. Cool. What? Oh, yeah. Like, okay, fine. No, I like no. it. That was, I was nice. I was ready. Go yeah. get it. Yeah. Good Which job, one is guys. that? That's from uh, Macbeth. Macbeth. Yeah. Wow. I love I am, it. I am seriously impressed. Unfortunately, I had to go to school. For twelve years. Yeah. Um, I think Most he went a little long. Did. No, I think he went well, a little long. Over thirteen years. Fuck off. Did you just get me all out? I went thirteen years in the summer. But but you went. You know why? That's you, because you were uh, school teacher. I realized at an early age that school was prison for kids and it was all bullshit and none of it mattered. <laughs> and I was proven correct. So none of it matters. Yep. It's just a place where they got to put kids so they can get the parents to be able to go to work. I use fractions and multiplication every oh. day. I'm just going to say that. So that class was good. Yeah, I use fractions all the time. And multiplication. And math. All math. Regular math. That's hard. Math is, math math is, is very hard. Math math you know is what? Very hard. Math is not hard. Math is oh. what the entire universe is composed of. Everything around you, everything that you see, everything That's that you hear, everything is I mathematics. Thought, I thought everything was atoms. No, it's math. Oh, okay. That's right. I stand corrected. I stand so corrected. the most important course that you ever took in any school was mathematics. English. All right. All right. Except that they had a math question, a math problem on Facebook one time. And several of us disagreed on the answer. Well, some one, some of you had to be wrong. That's, That's because correct, but we didn't know A lot know of us once. don't know how to do the if did he What's that? Uh... Yeah, except that we all knew how to do it, but apparently some of us disagreed on how to do on it. The, oh, on the, yeah, the order of doing little... it? Yeah. Impus. What is it? The impus, you know, like the multiplications, parentheses thing? Yeah. Where you do the inside yeah, third? Yeah, right. the thing. Because I don't think it's impus. Except that. I know, I'm just saying. I, I don't know exactly what <laughs> yeah, it is, right. but I That's know what y'all are talking about. Like, about. When you say impus, are you talking about the small creatures that run around and cause <laughs> mischief? No. That's an That's imp- a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great movie, by the way. This if you is, don't actually. feed after midnight, I'll give water. Yes. Gremlins no, but one, not gremlins too. Anyway, okay. so like, I think me oh, and Reese got one. Look, there we go. There we go. Wow. Reese showing us up tonight. I don't know say. Say it, Reese. Say it, Reese. Pimbus. PIMDAS, that's it. Okay, I never learned that. PIMDAS. No, I never learned that either. What's, what's the I? It's an E, exponents. Yeah, parentheses, exponents. Multiplication, multiplication. division, addition, subtraction. Multiplication, addition, subtraction. You have to do the functions in that order in order to achieve the proper answer. Correct. And that's what the Facebook mathematics always throws people because they have no idea about PIMDAS. Right. Yeah, but I still don't have any idea after this explanation. That's because you took the short bus to school. That's because, <laughs> no, okay, actually, that's, because he, that's because he thought D meant diploma. So no, D did mean diploma. <laughs> I hate to tell you. It did. You know what's funny? That's, that is funny. You know what they call the person who finished last in his class in med school? A graduate. Doctor. Doctor. That's what they Bingo. call it. That's right. Bam. You know what principals tell high school kids? <clears throat> Get fucked. <laughs> Somebody's a little sour. C's get degrees. C's get degrees. These also get degrees. I, I no, no. In college, oh, that in doesn't, college apply. doesn't apply. In college, in college right. excuse me, you C's have to. In your major, uh-huh. the courses for your major, okay. you have to right. make C's right. or better, right. That's correct. or you have to retake the class. Elective okay. courses, you can make a D and it still counts. But in your primary courses, you must make C's or better. Mm. So C's get degrees. Heard. I've been wanting to put this, and and we never did it right. Okay. Mm-hmm. We've been doing this random throw of the day type situation, and right. we never did it right. My vision in my head is that my wife has these most ridiculous and awkward 
silly thoughts that nobody ever thinks of. And when she tells me about them, I say, why do you even have that in your brain? Right. Right. And we've been trying to put these things in so that people can understand. But I don't think we've ever been doing it correctly. Okay. So I would like to call them Reagan's awkward thoughts of the day. Because they are complete nonsense. And it's just <laughs> confusing to me how someone can actually ponder these things. Okay. So, honey, for example, tell me the one that you, we, or two that we discussed today. No, let's save them. Let's just do one at a time. One. one okay, one just give me one, one that you did today. Okay, so I was wondering that, um, you know, all these snowflakes, liberals, whatever, they're all against guns, right? They hate guns, want to abolish guns, yet they get triggered. <laughs> so what you're saying Prince. is because you're against guns, you should not be getting triggered. Right. You it should be getting mar- mar- killed. Mar- <laughs> Debuffed. Right? You should use a word that's not associated with guns. Right. And this is what crosses right. her mind. Should, right, right. Like you should right? get branched or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll do more of those as it gets, but it just it's crazy the things that cross her mind. It really is to me. And, and I want other people to know what goes on in her brain. So, <laughs> no one will ever know what goes on in my brain. Well, that's probably true. Yeah. Anyway, I'm finished with that now. All right. So. Chris All right. randomly just starts mm-hmm. laughing sometimes, and I'm like, what are you laughing at? I just thought of something really funny. Yeah, I'm like Arthur from the movie Arthur. You just think of things just think that are funny. Yeah, he does. And I'm like, well, sometimes what? I just want to keep those funny things to myself. I'm selfish. That's what he said. He I'm said, selfish. Well, I say, well, what were you thinking about? He goes, no, 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 no. I'm like. No access. Access denied. <laughs> right? Know, right? I'm yeah. like, okay, whatever. Yeah. We do not share everything. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. So, uh, ooh, it was the last uh, last uh, weekend in October. It so was, well, I'm still I, saying. I said that uh, I would do uh, two movie recommendations on the last uh, weekend. So I thought maybe. Oh, we have I'm to man of my two word. of those now. I'm a man of yeah. my word. Oh. You might have seen one of them. Yeah, you oh, might have seen one of them. I know one of them you didn't see, but you might have seen one of them. <clears throat> so, the first one is a movie that came out in 1997. Starring Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. I like Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good in this too. Yeah, go ahead. It's Sorry, called. I didn't mean no, to no. I apologize. That's all right. You know what it is? No, I don't know. Okay, what it, is. it is Event Horizon. Oh, oh that sounds yeah. familiar. I think I have seen that. Yeah, it's Carry on. Okay, uh, so uh, thank you. So um, <clears throat> the movie, of course, takes place in the future, and uh, what it is is uh, they have this. Uh, spaceship called the event horizon where they put a special type of engine drive <clears throat> on the spaceship so that they can uh basically create wormholes and travel across the universe you know without having to you know spend a lot of time doing so they instantaneously jump from one point to the other universe so the movie so what happens is uh the ship uh performs you know performs the maneuver they turn on the engine shoots off through a wormhole and then they never come back. So they they've gone for years and years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think like nine years or something in the movie. So then all of a sudden out of nowhere the ship appears like around Pluto or Neptune somewhere you know in one of the farther away planets, and uh, with no communication with the ship. So they they decide to send a rescue uh, ship out to to the event horizon to try to find out if anybody's still alive and if so what the hell happened to them, where they've been because they were supposed to go somewhere and come right back right they're gone for years and years right so what happens is they get on the ship and basically the ship's haunted and uh so it's just all about you know trying to figure out why the ship is haunted and what the hell happened to the crew and and it's a really it's got a lot of creepy visuals and it's just a really intense movie it's got it's got some great moments in it yeah i've seen it before yeah it, it's pretty decent it's not a terrible movie like you normally recommend <laughs> <laughs> i cannot watch that movie that <clears throat> yeah I, I watched it you you remember seeing it i think we watched it together i don't remember it but the, yeah. i mean that's not uncommon for me i watch so many movies that it's easily well i like it i think so, you know it has it really delivers on the creepiness you know some and it has some really nice visual uh, moments in the film it's got a couple of it's the director's cut, which is famous, which has been lost apparently, has some really gory, crazy shit in it. 
but we'll never see that, unfortunately. All right. Well, that's one of two. Good. So, so the second one uh, <laughs> came out in 2006. <clears throat> it's called Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. That is the full title of the movie. Wow, that's yeah. a lot of words. It is, well, Any movie that has that many a, words in yeah, the title yeah, is go, it's yeah, done for me right, already. Well, if I got to read that many words just to get through the title, I'm not in. <laughs> yeah. Just I mean, saying. A lot of is people it, just it, call it Behind the Mask. Yeah, the actual well, title I'm, is Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, the plot of the movie is that um, people like Jason Voorhees, you know, uh, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, these people are real. They are not, real they're people. not they're not movies they're actual people that actually killed a bunch of teenagers and stuff so what's happening in the movie is there's a uh, documentary film crew that is interviewing a guy who is planning to be the next Jason Voorhees basically and so they're interviewing him and he's explaining um, you know how they're able to People like Jason Voorhees are able to do the things they do. Like, you know, you run away from them and they walk, but yet they catch up to you. You know, or you shoot them and then they don't die. You know, that kind of stuff. Right. And so he, he explains, he tries to explain an actual physical way that they're able to pull off all these feats. And it's uh, it's pretty amusing, <laughs> the, the things that, that happen. It's, it's, you know, because it's... So I mean, it's humorous. It's, it? Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. some of the movie is serious, but then there's a lot of, of uh, you know, making fun of... You know the tropes of of slasher movies. You know, and it's done it's done perfectly. I think where they they sort of mix a little bit of seriousness in with you know and, and when you know the parts that make fun of the tropes isn't like it's not like uh, Naked Gun silly. You know, even though they're joking around, they're still not over the top. Like right, joking around. Right. You know, um, Robert England is in it. By the way, there's a little cameo in there. You know, he because you pretty much. You pay him, he'll be in any fucking movie. So you know he's in. Which is movie. different from Which other is, actors. Yes, it is actually. Yes, it is actually. <laughs> Some people turn their nose off that stuff. But uh, so he's in it. Um, it's I, I love it just because it just the way to try to rationalize how silly things happen in horror movies, you know, and the way that the guy explains it, he's so happy about like he's about to murder a bunch of people, <laughs> and he's just like so excited, like like whenever the night comes where he's gonna. Murder a bunch of teenagers. He's just like, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. You know, what I mean, it's just, it's so ridiculous. And then, so they filmed the whole thing. You know, the night that he's like murdering teenagers and the documentary crews having the whole thing. I don't know. It's just, it's just a fun movie. I love it. Okay, I love it. So, all right. Can I recommend a movie? Nope. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I'd like to recommend the movie Devil by M Night Shyamalan, who wrote and directed it. No, he um, did not direct it. That is incorrect. He produced it. Yeah, he did not direct it. Okay, well, my apologies, but he did write it. If you're going to recommend a movie, you should know about it. Anyway, it's about... Why do you have to be a dick? Well, because that's who I am. <laughs> it's about five strangers that get trapped in an elevator. Um, security and police are trying to get them out. Uh, but uh, one security guard believes that the devil is responsible <clears throat> for them being in the elevator and events that happen in the elevator. Uh, It's really, it's just not your normal movie. It has a lot of kind of twists and turns in it. You really don't see what's coming. Um, So that's my recommendation. I suggest you watch it. I did see what's coming. I guessed the ending. There you go. Fuck you. (laughs) Do you have a movie that you like for Halloween, Bodie? Do I like what? Do you have a movie that you like for Halloween? No, no, not at all. I don't do. That's correct. I think we've discussed that. You five yeah. seven one. That's yeah, right. That's right. right. You five seven one. That's, That's right. Crimson cover. Tide. Yeah. There you go. Go watch that. I like Sleepy Hollow. You talking about which one? There's multiple. Uh, the Hollow. one with Johnny Depp, obviously. Okay. All right. Wow. Well, obviously. Yeah. Obviously, that doesn't need to be said, right? Yeah, duh. <laughs> All right. That's it, huh? I guess. Yeah, yeah. we're good. All right. Halloween's over. We'll... Yay! <laughs> we enjoyed spending this holiday with you all, listeners. Make sure you mash all of those buttons, you know, the five-star reviews. Comment on how you, what you thought of the episode and let us know. Give us, make sure you answer the poll question, you know, so we can get some feedback. And uh, thanks for listening. We love you. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> big dog out or what? Big dog, big dog. Out. <laughs> All right, see y'all next week. Bye. Bye.